Welcome back. We are joined by our ENN digital producer, Ariana Mora, with what is trending across social media today. Yes. Welcome back. Hi, welcome back. I'm glad to be back. You guys can't get rid of me that easily. We don't want so. to. <laughs> Speak for yourself. No, yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay, yeah. so the big <laughs> things that are trending today, obviously Ethan's favorite thing in the world, it's election day. We'll talk a little bit more about uh, what you need to know there. This then fuels his existence. Exactly. Uh, <laughs> the EMTA is going to be offering free rides to Presque Isle, and then McDonald's was found liable for a hot chicken nugget uh, burning someone. So we'll, we'll dive a little bit into that in a second there. Let's start with the EMTA. So uh, from June to August, they're going to be offering free rides from downtown to Presque Isle on the Route 33 Presque Isle Express. And so I'm, the last time I saw anything about them doing it was in 2018, so I believe it's an annual thing. But people are excited to just kind of have a free ride down to the beach and check everything out down there. Oh, yeah, because it's such a hot spot during the summertime. Yeah. And if, you know, you don't have a car to get down there and you do want to get into the peninsula, especially like further into the peninsula, right. it takes some time. Yeah. Right. And you can yeah. look across the bay and see it, but can't get there if you don't have a car. Right. right. And the bus route will loop back around downtown. You're not going to be stranded at Presque Isle. I mean, there's worse places to You're be stranded, there. but uh, you'll make it back home. Just make sure you check the times that the last bus is going to leave. Otherwise, then you will be stranded. Let's talk chicken nuggets. <laughs> yes. Okay. So this made me immediately think of the lawsuit in the 90s where the, the coffee got right. spilled on the customer. So basically, this mom ordered her child a Happy Meal. She went back and handed the kid the meal from the driver's seat. The kid opened it, and a chicken nugget got stuck between her thigh and a seatbelt and it gave her a second degree burn Ouch. and so McDonald's was found liable uh, because for negligence and failure to warn customers about risk of hot food and for not providing instructions for safe handling of the hot food. When it's something you know is going to a kid and it is at a temperature of causing second degree burns you can start to see that. Yeah, and you see that at restaurants. You know, yeah. if they, um, you know, put something in front of you, you know, this place is hot. They do always hot. warn you. Yeah. Yes, um, kind of the same thing. But people online were kind of like, oh, now we we can't have hot food. All of our food's gonna be cold from McDonald's a now. Hot so it's and just second like, degree burn. Yeah, hot. exactly, yeah. exactly. All right, let's talk election day. That's yes! really what I've been waiting for. I here. know. So Ethan has all the information. I don't really even need to be here. The polls are open to uh, <laughs> from now to 8 p.m. And what do you need to know, Ethan? There's Who's so, running? So many key races, and I know that municipal elections aren't exciting. They're, they're not a presidential race or a congressional yeah, but race. but they're important. These are the people who make most yep. of the decisions that affect your day-to-day -day life. Usually the president doesn't make a decision that affects your day-to-day -day life, yeah. but your council members can raise taxes, your school board members can raise taxes, judges can rule against you, township supervisors can raise your taxes. These matter. Go to the polls. It's your chance to yeah. participate in this wacky little experiment we call America. Yeah, I found out coroners are elected position. Right. Had no idea until yeah. yesterday. I think it's it's fascinating to learn more about you know the people in your your town, what they do, and how they get there. That's why we didn't have to watch a coronation a couple of weeks ago because <laughs> we get to decide who represents us. Yes. Yep. Eight o'clock tonight. That's when the polls are open here in Pennsylvania. Yeah, we have a story on our website that'll have all the information, uh, what you need to know. You know, scan that QR code you guys are always plugging, and it'll. Be right at the top of our website. There yeah. we go. When